What's going on everybody? Brent here, OUnitProductions.com and I'd like to welcome you to the 14th episode of OU Picking for today, which is Wednesday, March 9th, 2011. Um, busy today, just shipped out a couple packages, was at the post office doing that. Um, picked up some uh, items for the review show, which I do this week. Um, picked up some uh, boxes and some other um, items. The words right now are not quite coming out the head, but picked up that. Yesterday I was out picking my first flea market of the season, which I'm more than excited about. Also picked an antique shop as well as a auction. Huge, huge time at the auction. Huge, amazing, fun time at the auction. Did very well um, to see that and to show you what I've been getting. Let me get into that here. Um, here you can see some of the items. Well, all of the items. Quite a bit of items. Uh, this is the most items that I've had to share with you guys for a while. More than excited about that. Not even sure where to begin. I guess I'll start up here. I picked up this piece... Monday, as a matter of fact, this is a Turborg beer sign. It's a pretty cool piece. I've never really seen nothing like it. Up here you see it says the best of both worlds. Hangs on the wall. Uh, made out of some sort of uh, cloth. or I'm not exactly sure what material this is made out of. But it's very cool. I've never seen too much like it. Paid $5 for this at an antique co-op. Not sure exactly what this is going to do, but I'm very curious to find out. Let's move right along here. Picked up this clock yesterday, clock slash light, at the very first flea market I was at this season. It's got a place in here for two lights. You can kind of see the one there. There's the housing for the other. Haven't yet plugged this in. Uh, back and forth bartering to try to get this piece, but I ended up paying $25 for it. Not sure exactly what it's going to do, but I think I'm going to definitely turn a profit on that one. Why we're in the beer, this was my third piece here. A Miller High Life light. It's a very, very cool piece. Haven't plugged this yet in either, but I'm pretty sure it works. Um, pick this up at the flea market. You see it has $15 price on it. I bartered and traded and yada, yada, yada a little bit. Hacked that down. 12 bucks for this piece. Not sure exactly how it's going to do, but I can definitely see getting at least a 12 bucks. I was hesitant because it's Miller High Life. It's not really a sought-after beer, but, I mean, there are people that drink Miller out there. It is old. It is cool looking. I like the way it's shaped. I like the colors in it. I like the look of the guy featured on the front here. 12 bucks. See how I do on that. There's the three beer pieces I shared right there. I might even have more. I don't think so, but let's move forward here. Um, here you see up here five different cheese graters. You can't really see them all. You can kind of see them there. You can get them all in. Paid a dollar at the auction for all of these. Five of them for a dollar. I've sold one before on eBay for, I think, $2, $3. They don't go for much, but, I mean, five for a dollar. You can't really go wrong with that. Right below that here, you see Mutual Pretzel Tin. Um, this is probably about a $20, $25 piece, maybe a $15 piece. I've sold numerous chip and pretzel tins in the past. Generally speaking, unless you get a rare one, which I'm not sure about this one quite yet anyway. They go for around $15 to $20. Um, $10, $10, $15, $20. This one I paid $3 for at the auction. Was pumped for that. Was one of the only people bidding on it. More than excited to get that. And moving on, this worked well in a previous episode, so I'm going to go up to the white wall here and bring up the milk bottle I got here. From the farm to you, fresh, wholesome milk. Let me put it down so I can switch it around in my hand here. And you see it is Young's Way Farms from Williamsport, PA. Basically real close to where I was with the auction. I was in Hughesville for this auction. I got this milk bottle for 50 cents. 50 cents... That's the kind of price you want to pay for things like this, but it's still, it's, you know, the advertising isn't worn away. The bottle's in pretty good shape, a little bit dirty. I'll clean it up. Definitely going to make profit on that one at 50 cents. 
Next up, what do we got? We got these cool hockey skates here. I actually forget what brand these are. It's Union Hockey. These cool Union Hockey skates, vintage, kind of beat up a little bit, not in the best shape, but people love stuff like that. I know I do. I like the way it looks. I like the look of them, the feel of them. Um, they're not broken or anything. Just worn a little bit, but they're very cool. Regardless, pick them up for $5. Definitely like those. Definitely see making a profit out of those. I got these at an uh, antique co-op on Monday. Two days ago here. These are the, like I said, these are the finds for the last two days. I've been out picking hardcore, just hitting the road, going. I'm going to save some of this stuff till the end here. Let's move over here. Okay, you see some other stuff I have in the background here, so sorry for mixing it all in. But next off, College in Spaghetti. No lid. I mean, it's obviously, you know, they got the spaghetti out. They use a can opener and open this one, obviously. But got a little bit of damage there. I fell in love with the color. I sell all kinds of tins and just like them in general. Sometimes they don't bring too much money, but I definitely have made profit on a lot of them. I've never really lost money on any of them that I believe. I took on a couple dollar loss here and there on certain items, but I don't think any tins I've ever lost money on, which is something really cool to say. But $5 for this. Just had to have it. It's not worth probably too much more, but you never know. Definitely like that piece. Let me set that to the side here. Next up. We got, oh, by the way, I got that at a co-op. I think I said that. I'm not quite sure. Been a busy couple days. Cooper. Sharp Cheddar Cheese Box. I've got a couple cheese boxes before. I've always done well with those. This one I paid a dollar for. It doesn't got the lid, but it's in pretty good shape. Definitely got to make some money there. Put that to the side. Next piece. <laughs> I really didn't even bid on this. Got this at the auction. Let me get out of the light there. Really didn't even bid on this. It's a sleeve ironing board. Pretty cool looking. I mean, generally it's something that I wouldn't bid on. I mean, if it was cheap at a yard sale, I might pick it up. Just seeing how it has the cool old logo on there. B-E-H Co. Broadway, New York. It's actually a lot cooler now looking at it than I originally thought. But I got this for 50 cents at the auction. I actually was bidding on that milk bottle, which I already showed you. But... It got lotted with this. This was up for auction first. Nobody bid on it, as I didn't either. But the milk bottle came up. It got to a dollar bid. I think I was the second bid after a 50 cent bid. <laughs> and I got both pieces. One dollar. Going to make money on both of those. Um, let me put this on the floor here because I'm kind of getting stuff all over the place. Uh, can't get into this too much here. I'll try to open it up. Running out of room. This is the most packed my little showcase has been here in my home office for quite a while now. Uh, this is a very cool green wooden box. It's got the cool lock on the front, which I love. Sold quite a bit of these on eBay in the past. Paid $3 for this. It's a very cool piece. I love it. Just a classic wooden box, a nice green box. Definitely can see making a profit out of that one. Let me put some of this stuff back over here. And I'll get out of the light again for you. Just want to put some stuff back. Cool, cool pieces over here. Happy for all those. I got that at the flea market as well. The green box at the flea market. Um, that Cooper box was at the flea market. Now, last couple pieces. First off, this Griswold damper. It's a cool piece. can tell you right now that I overpaid for it, but I loved it when I seen it. I saw it at the Antique Co-op on Monday. Uh, Griswold stuff does really, really well, not only on eBay, but yard sales and flea markets and all that jazz. Let me tell you why I overpaid for this. Um, cool piece, first off, but I paid $6 for it. They're going for about $6, but it was actually the first one that I've seen. I wasn't too familiar with what they were, what they were for. I just thought it was a cool piece of cast iron. I'm going to get at least the $6 back. But here's the deal. This one is, I think, it's a six inch. Yesterday when we were at the flea market, I was with my buddy Scott, who I go picking with a lot. He got a huge box lot of, not this exact one, but these. He got, I think, 17 or 18 three inches, as well as two of the 10 inches. Same thing, but different sizes, obviously. He got that lot for $50. 
So, I mean, that's something that I probably should have held off on and went for. But like I said, I bought my education. I now know about these. Next time I see a lot like that, I'll pick it up, make some money on that. Uh, like I said, $6. I'll probably end up getting between 6 and 10 depending on where I go or who I sell it to or whatever the case, maybe get a little bit more. Now, I want to share with you guys my two favorite finds of this few days here of picking you can see them right here two pieces of awesome cast iron let me get down on my knees here so I can share this with you a little bit better let me share this one first heavy heavy duty awesome cast iron cat love the freaking cat <laughs> I got this at the flea market yesterday kept going back and forth thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it um, I paid up for it. I paid $25 for it. Talked it down a little bit. I think it was originally $35, and then it was $30, and then I got it for $25. No, I'm at least going to get that back, but hopefully, 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 my eye was right, and this ends up bringing quite a bit more. It's probably a good, I don't know, three, four pounds. Like I said, solid cast iron. Very, very cool cat. $25. Hoping to get 50 or 60 out of it. We'll see what happens with that. Now, in my mind... I think this is the biggest winning piece of the day right here in the front. I have a feeling you're going to agree with me here in a second. The horse comes off, all cast iron. The horse comes off. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm one-handed. Cool little guy here, he comes off. Kind of blurry. Need to get the HD cam here soon. Like I said, that's something in progress. But, back to the video. Um, cool, cool, cool. I love it. Uh, it's got the cool ice graphic on there, the ice truck being pulled by horse. Got this at the auction. When I got to the auction yesterday, we were looking around. Auction started at 4.30. We were looking around the preview, beginning at 3. Looking at this, looking at that, saying, hey, I'll bid this. It's probably going to go up. Not trying to read the people, seeing what they were going to be going on certain items, seeing if I thought they were collectors and they were willing to spend whatever it took. Or if they were resellers, couldn't quite read everybody. I really thought they were more collectors there. I thought this piece was going to go crazy through the roof. Didn't. But, I mean, there was a bidding war. I think it started at like $3 or something. $2, $3, 4 5 6 Went up a little bit here and there. 7 8 9 But, I paused. Dramatic pause. <laughs> I ended up getting this awesome probably five six pounds i haven't waited i don't know i'm pulling these weights out of my ass but i ended up getting this awesome piece for dun 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 eleven dollars sometimes i'm dramatic about the pricing but ladies and gentlemen this piece i can sell this for 30 40 50 60 dollars every day of the week eleven dollars i'm gonna score on that probably gonna put it up on ebay first um more than excited for all the items you see here. I don't think I forgot to share anything with you guys. This week I'm also going to be putting up the fan that I got here and I showed you guys in the last episode and some other things. Going to be a busy week of listing items. It's flea market season, finally. I found this new awesome flea market here. I was in Middleburg for that. The auction, like I said, was in Hughesville. Traveling all around Pennsylvania. Just more than pumped. Cannot wait to list some of these items. Cannot wait to get my booth at the co-op. Cannot wait to set up at the flea market. As always, guys, I just want to know, what is your favorite item that you see here? What do you think will bring the most money on eBay? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and, um, but then again, you might like something more than that. I kind of like the beer sign as well, this Ballantine beer. Um, check out the stores, stores.ebay.com slash Productions. And I will see you guys again on the next episode of OU Picking. Thanks, guys.